Hi everybody, my name is Marcos, Marcos Cassiano, and I'm here to tell you about some of my tales from the road. Some of my adventures that took place across the highways and byways of the U.S. and Canada, but never Mexico. And uh, this tale here uh, takes place in Alabama between uh, 1993 and 1995. I was working a, a house gig in uh, Decatur, Alabama. It was, it was a huge club. Uh, it probably held about a thousand people. And the place on the weekends was always packed. And what they would occasionally do was they would bring in a, an artist, you know, a, a well-known artist at times, uh, on a weekday to try to, you know, uh, get people in there to see if they can draw a crowd. It was usually either on a Wednesday or a Thursday they, they would book an artist. And on this particular night, uh, they had booked uh, Percy Sledge, and we were going to be his backup band. Now, we know a, a, a couple weeks uh, ahead of time that we were going to be backing up Percy, but uh, he actually didn't send us any work tapes. Uh, sometimes these artists, you know, they'll either send a song list, you know, with uh, what key the song is in. But from what I remember, you know, um, Percy didn't. And the uh, thing about it is, like, everybody knows when a man loves a woman. And plus, uh, Percy has some, some other hits, uh, Darkened in the Street. I think we, we did that song. But a lot of what he did was, because he's from that, like, mid-1960s going into 1970s, there was a lot of these singers like, you know, Otis Redding and, and people like that. So um, what people like Percy did, because again, later I backed up another artist and they do the same thing. They basically uh, play songs from their people that were their contemporaries. So we, I think we did like Dock of the Bay, Midnight Hour and songs like that. So we really didn't uh, need work takes because these were songs that we had all played and were pretty familiar with and all, all we really needed was was just the what what key was in so anyways I, I get to the club we were supposed to rehearse with Percy at uh, four o'clock in uh, in the afternoon and Percy was right on time now at this time I just assumed that Percy was living down the street maybe 30 minutes away because he's from Leeton Alabama and at the time I thought, and, and, and I may be wrong or I may be right, that that's where he was coming from, from Leeton. You know, I think I remember he had a, a big old Cadillac and he pulls up and uh, he has like a, what do you call it, like a, like a jogging outfit, something like that on, very casual. He comes in, he's got, he's got this really big smile. I think the guy just smiles all the time if you see photos of him. He's always smiling. So he comes in, we run down the songs. There was a few songs we had trouble with only because we had hired a new bass player and he wasn't as competent as some of the other bass players we had. So he kind of held up the rehearsal a little bit and, you know, Percy didn't seem too concerned with it. He just said, well, well, guys, I, I got to go. And at this point, you know, I don't know if he went back home to Leeton, Alabama, or if he got, booked a hotel room in, uh, in Decatur where, where uh, the show took place. Well, come that night, it was like unbelievable. Uh, the place was just jam-packed. I mean, the place held about a thousand people and we were just packed. I mean, we had a, a balcony and, and I could look up and see, man, it's just packed. The dance floor and the, and, and the floor was just unbelievably just full of people, you know, and I thought, wow, I can't believe this, you know? So it's amazing when you back up an artist that has a number one hit, even though it was already pretty old at this size, 66, 66, 66 yeah, close to 30 years old, uh, they'll come out, you know, mostly, you know, people from his generation that came out. And Percy came out, he did the show, he did a, you know, just a fantastic show. I mean, he just poured everything into it that, that he could. And it was just, like I said, it was just a lot of fun. I got a kick looking at the people down front because their faces were just, they were just so excited to see this guy, you know, someone that was probably from their childhood, you know, they brought back a lot of memories, you know, singing all these songs. So it was actually a, a, a lot of fun. And uh, my only regret, it's not like a regret, but I remember the keyboard player, he had like a camcorder, I remember, and he gave the camcorder to someone to, to film it. And, you know, they filmed the show and several times I looked on YouTube to see if maybe over the years that the keyboard player maybe uploaded the, the show up on YouTube, but it doesn't appear. And I, like I said, uh, even before I did this video, I tried to find to see if there was a video of Percy, but 
There's not. So uh, it would have been great if it was. Like I said, uh, we were not quite in the visual era that we are today. Today, there would have been 150 videos already posted on YouTube. But on this particular occasion, on this night, it's just, you know, a memory that I have. And, and probably the keyboard player, maybe he saved the tape. Maybe he watches it every now and then. But again, it, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun uh, working with Percy Sledge, uh, especially someone that had a monster hit like that. Um, uh, and the sad news is, of course, if, if you know anything about Percy, he passed away a few years ago. And when I was reading the information to do, the, to do this video, uh, it looked like he was living in Baton Rouge, Louisiana at the time. Looks like he passed away at his house. But again, I, I'm under the feeling, of course, I didn't ask him. Uh, that he was still living in Leeton, Alabama, which from what I remember, it's, it's only about 30 minutes from Decatur. I used to pass it all the time on my way to uh, Muscle Shoals to do gigs. Anyways, that's the story of uh, working with uh, the legendary Percy Sledge and his number one hit, When a Man Loves a Win Woman. It was a lot of fun. It was a memorable night, and I'll never forget it. Okay, more later. Thanks for watching.